Hello everyone. So a few people have mentioned that um, you hear my dog once in a while. People wanted to make sure that it was an actual dog. Put a name to a face, if you will. Um, so I'm going to put this at the beginning of all of my videos, so that way anybody watching my videos knows what the noise is that you will probably hear at least once during the video. Um, it did it. So that was my dog, um, and once in a while you might hear one of my three kids. Sometimes they're noisy, sometimes they're quiet, it just depends on the day, the hour, and what is going on. So apologies in advance if you hear a little bit of backing noise um, and it takes away from the video and the experience, but anyway. Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. So today I'm going to listen to a Nightwish song. <clears throat> and depending on the person commenting and suggesting, there's back and forth on whether it's better to hear live versions or studio versions, Floor, Annette, Taria, I want to hear pretty much all of it because I have liked music from all three vocalists and I have liked and uh, appreciated the style of both the studio version and the live version. So this is just a massive journey with Nightwish and I, I don't know how far I am how far I am on the journey, but I know I don't want to exclude anything. I want to give everything a chance so my ears can kind of, just so I can hear it, you know, and anyway, that doesn't matter. <clears throat> so this song, I had pulled it up because it was in my recommendation list. This is my Nightwish recommendation list, if you can see. I sc I've obviously scribbled some of them out. Disregard my dirty nails there. Um, but these are my Nightwish recommendations. <clears throat> and in addition to this notebook, I also have, sometimes people will comment a specific link. Like also, you know, for example, they might say, make sure to check out this version of Slow Love Slow from Buenos Aires, let's say. And then they'll share a link. Well, I'll open that link and save that to a playlist on YouTube for later. So I have this notebook and I also have the playlist on YouTube, although I'm trying to get the notebook stuff done first. Um, if somebody shares a link to something that's already in a notebook, then I don't save it because I already have it. But um, there are still, I, I checked this morning and I have listened to about 49 Nightwish songs on this channel. 49 songs. That's so many. And I still have this many. Plus whatever's on YouTube. I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying it. But Anyway, all of that to say, and I just wasted two minutes of your time, uh, I hope nobody is, thinks that, you know, checking out a music video with Taria is a waste of time, because to me, it is not. I want to hear this song, I want to hear Taria's vocals, I want to hear the music, and then later, if any of the other vocalists have also sung this song, sang this song, I will also check out their versions. Um, and when I pulled this video up, the little thumbnail looks really famil familiar, and I checked my videos to see if I've already reacted to this one, and according to what's on my YouTube, I have not listened to this one, but that thumbnail looks so familiar. I feel like I've seen that thumbnail, unless there's another video I reacted to that had a similar video. Um, Y'all let me know if there's another Nightwish with Taria where the music video looks kind of like this, and that might be what I'm thinking of. Anyway, sorry, we're your three minutes in. Without further ado, let's check this out. Who's that girl? How old is this video? And who... Do they used to have different members? Or are these... I don't know. Sorry.
Okay, first of all, these are stand-ins. These, these definitely are not band members. Second of all, that is not Kari, is it? That's not Kari. things. First of all, I want to say, I'm sorry, I thought on the thumbnail that that was Taria. I saw the long block hair, black, block, black hair, and I thought it was Taria. So I was like, okay, because I'm pretty sure I did an Annette last time. Mm, I don't even remember what the last song was I heard of. No, oh no, Seven Days to the Wolves. I, that was the last one. That was Floor. Okay. Well, I was trying to do a Taria to mix it up, and I thought that was Taria on the thumbnail. So my apologies for doing another Annette when I haven't done Ataria in a while, so that's my apologies. Second of all, the music on this is awesome. This is fire. It is so good. And whenever Marco came in just then and was singing, I didn't expect that. It got heavy and it got good. And the video is also really entertaining. I'm enjoying this. I just want to say this music and this guitar is so heavy and so good. song looks like it's a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to film and it also looks like 
it was really fun. It would be really fun to do live. That song was big and a heavy and good. That I like that. That musically is definitely my. I like that a lot. Um, the vocals were good. I really like Marco's vocals. And Nett's vocals were good as well. And the music was good. Not as musically, you know, complex as some of the other stuff I've heard of theirs, but still a really good song. Very solid, very good headbanging song. I know I'm going to listen to that again, especially when I want to headbang. So I'm glad I checked it out. So thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.